Hi there, this is Joe from Sparkle. We have some questions about how to convert a JPEG into an SVG file using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna show you a very quick demonstration of that now. So as you can see, I've imported the JPEG into my Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a number of different layers here. Um, first job is to um, lock the first layer so I'm not interfering with it and then add a new layer. So to set up what I want to do is I'm going to remove fill from the options. I'm going to change the color of the layer as well so it's easy for you to see on screen. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to make the stroke path a bit thicker, maybe about 20. And I'm going to use the shape at all option and use a pencil. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to cover um, the picture of myself, that particular area there, and then we'll move on to the next one. So, like I say, this is a very quick demonstration. So the more time you spend on it, the better the effect will be. Okay, so it's nearly done. All right, so now um, you've got most of the area covered. You can make it thicker if there's bigger gaps or if you want to make minor adjustments, um, you can do. Again, sometimes you can use a combination of both. Okay, when you're happy that particular area is covered, we can move on to the next one. So I'm just going to lock um, layer two down and then select layer three. And again, a different color. And again, the same process here, but I will make my stroke a lot thicker because it's covering a wider area. done all right i think that pretty much covers the whole area and again you can be more accurate by making slighter adjustments um the more time you spend on the image the better the result will be okay the next layer again the same thing Okay, and the final layer. And again, um, you could uh, make different layers, different stroke thicknesses. It's really up to you how you do it as long as you've got the areas covered the results will always look quite good all right so now we have the whole image covered with our different layers and colors what we can then do is start changing the opacity down so when we turn the opacity down to zero what happens is that the stroke becomes invisible so how that works in video scribe is it works as a reveal layer so when it's being drawn, the image underneath the stroke is being revealed. Okay. And when you're happy with that, you then save it. Okay. 
Now, remember when you're saving in Adobe Illustrator, if you're using a JPEG or PNG or any other bitmap or raster file, um, ensure that you have embed selected. And again, CSS properties is presentation attributes. Okay, and uh, now you can bring that into Video Scribe. Okay, so here we have the image, and let's see how it draws. Okay, so that's a quick way how to convert a bitmap image into an SVG and have the draw strokes determined by yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial.